Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful chance to be in your presence. We honor you, we exhort you, Asante, kwa kila moja yetu ambaya mekuja katika hii bada, tunatangaze ya kwamba, neno lako litatulisha, neno lako litatujenga, na tutakuwa kamili katika Kristo. Tunasema ni Asante, mana umetuezesha, na tunamini ya kwamba, neno lako litakuja na nguvu na uh, itakuja na uponyaji itakuja na miujiza na ishara za roho mtakatifu ni asante tunajikabidhi mbele zako i pray for utterance i thank you make my tongue as a tongue of a ready uh, to bring forth your word to speak forth your word with understanding and clarity i honor you and submit myself to you holy spirit take over blessed be the name of the lord forevermore in jesus name we pray Amen. Somebody shout amen. We thank God for yet another uh, wonderful day to be in his presence. I count it once again as a privilege to be the one to bring to us the word of God and uh, our, the servant of God, Bishop Simon Kanyaru. We thank God for him. He is our spiritual father. And we, are, we, we continually pray for him that as he steers this ministry, that we are going to move in that vision that God has given unto him. We had a wonderful time last week. We had uh, very powerful sessions. We had uh, the, the theme for last week was growing up spiritually. And it is my desire that each one of us is going to take that word and is going to act upon it because we are commanded not just to be hearers of the word, but also to become doers of the word. You know, when we get to heaven, you, you will not tell Jesus, I, I went to church. It, yes, it's good to have great sermons, but if, we do not, if, if the sermons do not change us, then there is no difference uh, between us and the world. It is what we do with the word that, the word that we have had that causes us to be different and to manifest our sonship. So let us take the revelation of the word that we had and let us act on it. Let us take definite steps to ensure that we maximize on our, on our spiritual work so that we can be able to grow spiritually into the sons of God. Hallelujah. We are living in, ve in a very wonderful time in this dispensation. We are living in a very glorious time because this is the time that has been prophesied. The time where the sons of God are to be manifested. So it is for us to, be, to take responsibility and to ensure that our salvation is bringing forth fruits. Let us be conscious of the time we are living in. Let us be sober. Uh, the Bible says, let us be sober and vigilant. Awake you who are slumbered. And begin to, 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 to pray and travel and seek God. Because these are surely the last days. The events that are happening in the world is, uh, right now, it's, it is an evidence that we are living in the last of the last days. But it is a glorious time because these are the days that have been prophesied. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters, they shall see visions. They shall prophesy. So it is you to take your position in Christ. And once you have an understanding of the time, you begin, you begin to seek God earnestly with all your heart. And the Bible says, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, You shall seek me and you shall find me when you search for me with all your heart. So God is saying, until you seek me, you will not find me. But it is for only those who will seek the Lord with all their heart. So let us be conscious of this, of this time that you are living in. Let's engage in seeking God with all our heart, fervently and persistently. In the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So I pray is that, that at the end of this lunch hour, your expectation will not be cut off. Proverbs 23 verse 18, the Bible says, For there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Hallelujah. So in the book of Proverbs 24 verse 13, the Bible says, my son, eat thou honey, because it is good, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. Then it says, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto your soul, when you have found it. 
I want you to know that when thou hast found it, and there shall be a reward, and your expectation shall not be cut off. Hallelujah. So your expectation, the expectation of your heart can only be validated by the discoveries you make in the word of God. I come again. Your expectations can only be validated by the discoveries you have made. And then there shall be a reward when you have found it. Hallelujah. So shall be the knowledge of wisdom be unto your soul. So it is important for us to understand that without us setting a, a plan for our breakthrough, we can never experience. We must set the stage for us to experience next level. Next levels don't only come upon us. We must set the stage for it to happen. And we saw last week in the book of Isaiah 50, uh, 54, it says that enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch forth thy, thy, thy curtains. And then he says, thou shall break forth on the right. Hallelujah. So that means it is you setting the stage for that breakthrough you are desiring. That breakthrough you are desiring will only come once you take the steps that are required. Hallelujah. We are supposed to, you know, we live by laws. There are laws which have been set in place. And to be lawless, it is to be lifeless. Because we have been redeemed from one law. But we, are been, we have been redeemed in order to subscribe to another law. Hallelujah. The book of Romans uh, 8, uh, the Bible says that, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ has made me free from the law of sin and death. So being rescued, being delivered from the law of sin and death places you into the law of the spirit of life. Hallelujah. So these are the laws you are supposed to walk into. Hallelujah. In order for you to enjoy the benefits of salvation. So breakthrough in life is for every child of God. But it is for you to make a choice. Whether to remain in this same place or whether for you to, to move into, into the next phase of your life that God has seen for, uh, has for you. So we have seen in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 13. That God is saying I am found by those who will seek me with all. I want you to underline that word. All. All. All means all. God is saying I am only by found. I am only found with those who seek me with all your hearts. So. I want, us to understand, I want us to gauge the level of our commitment to God. Hallelujah. How much is the level of committed, your level of commitment in your seeking God? God is very serious in, uh, when it comes to people who are seeking him. The Bible says, God seeketh them that worship him in spirit and in truth. So it is not enough to seek God. It is all of your heart. Hallelujah. So may you have that understanding in Jesus' name. So there is a price to pay if, if we want to walk with God. Hallelujah. There is a price we must pay if we want to walk with, the, we, with, with God. Salvation ushers us into the life of the supernatural. Salvation only ushers you into the life of the supernatural. But it is for you you into the door so that you can go forward, go in into the kingdom and explore all that the kingdom of God has for you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 26 verse 9, the Bible says, With my soul have I desired thee in the night. It says, I have desired you in the night. So it answers to a desire. Hallelujah. A desire. A desire. With my soul have I desired you in the night. With my spirit within me will I seek you early. So these are things that we need to understand. That it, we must have a desire for God and the things of God. And then uh, in the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse number 1 it says, And it shall come to pass if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. Now, I want you to note that word. It says, if. Hallelujah. So, that is a choice to make. Breakthrough does not answer uh, to everybody. It only answers to those who make a choice. 
Hallelujah. It is not a gift. It is a choice. You must play your part. Hallelujah. So it says if, if, if. That means it is available for you only as long as you are interested. Hallelujah. It is available for you. God says, I will set you above all the nations of the earth. You know, you can quote scripture and say, I'm above and not be below. I am the head and not the, and not the tail. But you must quote it in context. Confessing is not the only thing. We must be able to become uh, doers of the word. It says in verse 1, if you diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Hallelujah. So it is only until you make that decision that you can only become, uh, you can be set above all the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. So your commitment to the commandments of God is what makes you, what sets you apart. Hallelujah. God has a place for you on top, but it is only if you are interested. Hallelujah. You must show, you must make an effort. So what does this mean? That not everybody, uh, uh, not everybody lives the their destiny. Not everybody lives to, to, to demonstrate the power and the gifts that God has placed in them. These things are these things are here in us potentially, but with their things for us to be able to bring forth those gifts that God has for us. Hallelujah. So the child of God, as a born again believer, you have been redeemed, you have been saved, and, and, and God has deposited great treasure us through, 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 through the redemption that comes in Christ. There are great deposits in us as believers. But we want us to see how can we be able to unleash the potentials as sons of God. How can we reveal ourselves as sons of God in these last times? Hallelujah. So, Isaiah 2 verse 6, uh, Isaiah 2 verse 2, it talks about the ways of God. There are ways of God and there are ways of men. The ways of God are higher ways. Isaiah 55, the Bible says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are, are, my, or neither are my ways your ways. So there are ways of God. And this, in the book of Isaiah 2, verse 2, they are called the high ways of God. So these are the highways that every believer must locate in order to maximize their salvation. The highways uh, of God. Hallelujah. So these are the highways that we are talking about. So how does one uh, locate this highway? How does one locate the, the ways of God? Praise the Lord. Job 29 verse number 4. The Bible says, uh, as I was in the days of my youth... As I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. So Job became the greatest man in the east by, by, by in the ways of God, the highways of God. He says, uh, um, he says, verse number five, when the Almighty was yet with me, when my children were about me, when I washed my steps with butter, and the rock poured up, up me rivers of oil. He says, the secret of God. Job will be the most, uh, the richest man. Job 1 verse 1. He became the richest man, the wealthiest man because, he says here, because he walked in the secrets of God. Hallelujah. He that the secret things belong unto God, but those things which have been, they belong unto us. Hallelujah. So any man who makes a discovery, as I began by, by saying, once you make a discovery in the word of God, that will set you apart in life. Hallelujah. So a man who is a diligent seeker, such a, you is committed to seeking God with all their heart for you to walk in the secrets of God. This is what sets people apart in the kingdom of God. It is not that they were favored by God. It is because they, locate, they located the heart of God. Hallelujah. So let us get our heart for God this day. Because God is not the one who is, uh, who is not doing something. It is us. God is on us. God is not the one who is not doing something in your life.
word of God, the revelation that pertains to that situation, then you are translated from that level. Hallelujah. John 1 verse 5, the Bible says, The light, the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. So the problem is illumination. How much are you illuminated by the word of God? How much of the light of God are you illuminated? The entrance of his word gives light. So illumination is what sets you apart in the kingdom. Hallelujah. So we get more into that. How do you access God's secret? How do you accept access God's secret? You must have a crave. You must have a crave. First Peter 2 verse number 2. The Bible says, like new you crave for, thirst for, and earnestly desire the pure spiritual milk. milk. Hallelujah. So, just enough to be a casual. He says you must crave for. You must thirst for. So, you are craving for the word is what, is what determines whether you are going to access these ways or the secrets of God that are going to set you apart in life. Praise the name of a living God. Hallelujah. So, spiritual understanding. Spiritual understanding. And Paul prayed for, 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 uh, he prayed for the church in the book of Ephesians that I pray for you that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ may spirit of wisdom and revelation. Why? Because inadequate revelation is what makes us it is what makes us not to confront issues in, in our lives. It is what that limits us in our lives. Lack of inadequate understanding. Hallelujah. So understanding, spiritual understanding, it is the, our greatest asset in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And then the book of Isaiah 42 verse 18. He says, Hear ye deaf and look ye blind. So now is trying to, to, to bring into light two symptoms that, can, that make us ineffective. He is talking about blindness and deafness. Hallelujah. So these are the plagues in Christians. These are the plagues for us, for us as, as children of God that lead us blindness and deafness. Once you have been blinded, you have been blinded, you cannot see. And once you are deaf, you cannot, you cannot hear. You are, you are in the same place. You cannot, you cannot see. You cannot take the next step because you cannot hear. Hallelujah. And that is why when we, are, when we can see, that is why the devil will always fight Christians from seeing and from hearing. If he can cover your eyes from seeing, if he can cover your ears, you can do anything else, it, 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 is, it is okay. You can be busy for as long as you cannot see and you cannot hear. That is his greatest uh, strategy in the church. To make sure that we are blinded and we cannot see. Hallelujah. But I pray that today our eyes shall be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. And every veil that has covered our eyes shall be removed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So it is not the devil who is our problem. It is not demons. It is our lack of spiritual sight. Spiritual insight into the mysteries of God. May we receive that revelation in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So what God shows you, it is what you show into the world. What God shows you is what turns you into a show in the world. What God reveals to you, it is what turns you into the world. What has God been telling you? What has God revealed to you? Can you point at something that God spoke to me concerning healing, concerning divine health, concerning financial dominion? What has God shown you? Is, we know we serve in accordance to the light we have. Many of us are moved by feeling how I feel, of how I feel like serving God today. I feel like I, I feel like I'm going to give my my my, my tithe to, uh, next month. I won't give to I won't give now. We because of how we feel because we have an understanding. But God wants us to operate in the realm of once you 
the spirit will determine whether you you are uh, you become a commander in that area hallelujah once you catch light in any area of your life you become a commander you be begin to take charge in that area any area of life that is how you operate in uh, with the with the light that comes through the of the word of god hallelujah so in Isaiah 42 verse 19, he continues to say, Who is my servant, my messenger? Who Who is blind as my but my servant? Who is deaf as my messenger? So God will open our ears. God will open our eyes so that we can see, we can receive his word. We can that he is speaking to us and then he can honor his word. There are some things you pray for and there are some things you don't have to pray for. This prayer we should be praying daily as Christians is Lord, open my eyes. Lord, open my ears to hear still lacking what is missing in my life where why am i still in this place lord open my eyes hallelujah that is the greatest prayer that we can pray as a church so what are the channels we have seen a crave then we must uh, the second channel for us to receive the ways of god is by reading and studying hallelujah reading and studying the Second Timothy 2 verse 15. The Bible says study. Hallelujah. It is simple, very clear. Study. Amen. Study. 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 I cannot overemphasize this, this word. Because as believers, we have, we have become spiritual. Hallelujah. Your pastor can only take you to a certain level. But there's a level in which he cannot take you. Paul is instructing Timothy. Study. But study and give holy unto studying the word of God. Then First Timothy 4 verse 13. He says, till I come, give attendance to reading. Amen. Ah, I wish you would understand this. Give attendance to reading. Second Timothy 4 verse 2 verse 15. Study. So believers, how is your, how, how do you study? How do you study the word? How much time do you commit to the word of God? Searching scripture day and night. Daniel 9 verse number 2. It says, I, Daniel, understood by books. Daniel was the wisest man. He was saying, I understood by books. I locate books that can that address that issue locate books that address that issue in your life daniel was gifted but his gifting is not what brought that uh, that is not what change it is and searching diligent look he went into the book of uh, and and he read in the bible and he saw what god had said uh, so for us as believers let us look in life. Amen. Become a diligent and addicted reader of the word of God. Hallelujah. The next thing is by prayer. Prayer is the next channel for us to access the secrets of God. He says Jeremiah that 3 verse 3 we have seen call unto me. Call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Hallelujah. So it is a, 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 it is a heartfelt cry to God. A heartfelt fervent prayer unto God. Lord, show me. Lord, what am I missing in my life? Well, Lord, why is this sickness still here? What must I do for me to, to move in, into, into the next phase? Hallelujah. Make a heartfelt prayer. Stand be, be, before God. Habakkuk said, I will stand unto my watch and see what he shall say unto me. 
Hallelujah. So once you engage your heart, engage with your spirit in making definite prayers unto God. So many times you have been petitioning God, Lord, do this, Lord, do this. But a time comes when you tell God, Lord, what must I do? Hallelujah. Lord, what must I do for me to move forward in life? Praise the Lord. Begin to make the prayers of inquiry. The next thing we must need is meekness. Meekness is the next channel for us, is the next channel for us to access the ways of God. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Meekness is, Lord, whatever you say, I am going to respond. Meekness is, it, it is humbleness of mind and, and, and spirit to sit under the word and to be taught no matter by who, who is standing here. Amen. That is meekness. Hallelujah. Bible says that Moses was the meekest man in the face of the earth. And he was, he was the one who was shown the creation. He was the one who wrote the first five books of the Bible. He talked to God face to face. He, he saw the back of God. He was revealed to God, but he says Moses was the meekest man in the, in the world. So any prideful a God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Receive the spirit of meekness in the name of Jesus Christ. So with that revelation that, that, that we have received, I want us to rise up on our feet and respond to that word as, as we pray earnestly in the spirit and ask God, Lord, I have come into, into this lunch hour. I pray that the word that I, ha I have received today shall bring forth fruit in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Make your prayer known to heaven right now. Father, we thank you because we have heard, we have heard your word this afternoon. Thank you for the revelation that has come forth by your word. We pray that, Lord, you shall help us. You, shall have, you are going to reveal yourself to us. Reveal your word to us. We thank you because as we search for you, we shall find you with, as we search for you with all our hearts. Remove from us every baggage, every weight, limiting us from walking in the fullness of all that you have for, for, you have for us. Remove from us any spiritual weight, any, anything hindering us from walking into the fullness that you have for us. Lord, we pray thee that God, we are going to maximize our destiny in Christ. We are going to maximize our salvation. We are going to walk into the fullness of all that you have prepared for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your light shine in our hearts. We receive the light, the light that cometh from your word. Illuminate our hearts. Give me spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus. We honor you. We praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Celebrate Jesus as we welcome our Pastor Jeroge to conclude for us. Let us appreciate Brother Kenyo, a better appreciation, a better appreciation. So may God bless you as you continue to go deeper in the Word of God. Amen. Tomorrow is the the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Come on, Sadaka. Give a good offering as you live. God bless you. Let's meet tomorrow for more teaching from Bishop. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.